Today, Paul's cooking Taco Bell Habanero and Ghost Pepper Loaded Grillers. Sounds good, buddy. Mmm. Hey guys, it's Ken and Paul again from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken and Paul cooking review. How you doing, buddy? Good. Excellent. What are you cooking for the lovely ladies and gentlemen out there? Well, this is what I'm doing. <laughs> and because... It's a Taco Bell something griller. Actually, loaded grillers. Loaded grill. And loaded grillers, I think. Loaded griller. So yeah. Ken and I had this back, uh, I think about two years ago, we went to... Nashville, Tennessee. Right. And we had on the way back, and we had we I think we tried all three. There was a mild, medium, hot. Right. Chipotle, and, habanero, and ghost and pepper. Ghost. So I was like, you know what? I, I was looking at stuff, and I was like, I had some leftover ground beef. I made a cheeseburger soup, and I had extra ground beef, and it was it was already cooked up. I'm like, I was trying to think what I could do to use it today, and I, and I was thinking back, and I said, oh, I think in even the video we said we should try and do this or something or mimic it, and so we're gonna make it, but to my own like a quick, fast something anyone can do. You have the artist license, sir. That's right. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, Paul, what's first besides drinking beer? Okay. Well, drinking beer is first. Okay. Second, I've already sauteed up some onion. Mm. I've already got ground beef already cooked. It doesn't get any easier than this. Was, was it seasoned yet? This or? is not seasoned. Okay. This is so totally, there's no seasoning in this at all. Okay, good. So, um, fastest way is if you have a packet of taco seasoning, which a lot of people usually have in the cupboard, use it up. Uh, we've talked about blends of, of uh, seasoning before, uh, chili powder, seasoned salt, paprika. I actually wrote it down for you this time, Ken, so you can actually oh, put it on, uh, put on the page. It'll be so in the description. It'll be in the description. Please so try it. So since it's already cooked, we're going to throw this up in there. Oh, it's going to smell like Taco Bell in three seconds. Gonna, yes. I think uh, Taco Bell, they used uh, tortillas and it was crunched up inside to give it that crunchy uh, texture inside. Let's in there as whole. Yeah. So we're going to use Cheetos okay. because of the popularity of Cheetos and it, it, uh, it certainly looks good. And this then, is gonna uh, be a fast one. I, I, this is gonna be really I'm, fast. I'm, I'm guessing right mm, now. Mm. Nice. Oh, we already got our tortillas done. Look at this, beautiful. Look at that, you made that so fast. Taco Bell uses a cheese sauce, so we could have put the beef in, layered hot cheese. Um, so two options. We can, since we're gonna be putting it in a pan, I could let this heat up, put the sour cream in, and the cheese, and it, it'd make a pseudo cheese sauce instantly with the beef. Okay. So we got options of that, or I can just layer it inside and let the hot pan do the rest. I'm gonna make one habanero and one ghost for you and I will, I guess we'll split so we each get one right. of each to compare. And uh, my secret ing ingredient, bacon. We're all gonna be able to eat it because though, right? Because bacon makes everything delicious. <laughs> so, oh, excuse me. So whether it tastes good or not, bacon will be the, and there you have it. There we have it. And Cheetos. Bacon, Cheetos, Paul Grillers. <laughs> the Paul Merriman Grillers. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We'll do this. I'm gonna take it because I'm gonna be making a couple of more. So as that's heating up, I'm gonna put a lot of cheddar in there. It's gonna be very gooey. Ken will be all bunged up in the morning. Nice. <laughs> bunged. <laughs> Great word. Bung, bunged. Bunged. That's gonna, melt, that's that's gonna melt in there, and then we're gonna mix the sour cream in. Seagull flew over and dropped left, something in left there. Pause it. Hmm. Yes, Yoda. And then I'm going to put a little bit of salsa in there. These are most ingredients people just have at home. So you got some ground beef, cheese, and stuff in the fridge. Throw it all in together. So if you're doing the beef, you want to strain off the fat. Unless you want a real calorie booster. Well, this way is a lot easier to put together. Yeah, rather like layer it. Because now we're, I mean, we're pretty much ready to, to do it. Turn the heat down slightly. So we'll put half in like that. He's okay. gonna be big. Oh yeah. Some crunch. Some crunch. Now, the first one, homemade habanero. Careful. So, oh, oh, oh. Because the habanero can be deadly too. Yes. It can do it. I, I wanna be able to eat this. And some bacon. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Don't fold it yet. Oh, look at that shot, people. Oh, it smells Are you amazing. Ready? That's <laughs> one's gonna be absolutely huge. Talk about bunged. <laughs> and then Careful dude. Careful. <laughs> oh, I wanna eat it. Oh. I don't wanna die today. Oh look at you know what? Can you smell that? <laughs> oh, because you got him like way over here. Oh. 
it's, it's a it's a it's, a, it's an eye opening. It's like it's like it's a uh, smelling salts. All of a sudden you, you hit it, it hits your face, and you're like, oh, in the face. It's like when somebody walks past you at a restaurant with uh, sizzling hot like buffalo wings. Which one's which? One's actually a huge. Got some marking on it. Yeah. Crank some heat. And there you have it. Next, we're gonna be Feasting. sampling these. Did I finish my beer? It's over here. Oh, it's you empty. finished it. I think you took my beer, Ken. I didn't. Oh, you know what we gotta do? A review. Let's do it. Let's do it. Beer. I'm gonna turn this down slightly. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the beer of choice today. Handcrafted in Newmarket, Ontario. Okay, I Bruco. 7% alcohol. That's my kind of beer. <laughs> you don't want to drink a whole lot of these real quick. Okay, you have the honor, okay. sir. Let's crack this bad boy. And he's doing it in... Uh, Lagunitas glasses. Lagunitas glasses. I just got these in to the rest because of the pub, oh. and I love them. And these glasses are designed when you're drinking your beer to make you happy. Huh? And they do, because there's a beautiful dog on it. So when I drink <laughs> the beer, I actually feel emotionally happy. <laughs> it's a proven fact. Proven, eh? Cheers, Very, bro. Uh, very citrusy. Oh yeah, holy cow. Oh, it smells good. Very cloudy too. Check it out. I didn't look if it was uh, unfiltered in that. Mm. Yes, your kind of beer, Kenny. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty strong. Oh, I could drink a few of these. <laughs> You're getting hints of grapefruit, orange, a strong IPA, the hops, the very hoppy. Um... They're called notes. Oh, notes, like a <laughs> harmonica. <laughs> what kind of notes are you tasting, sir? And there's, Dude, and I just want the, to get drunk. And then the dog looks at me too when I drink, and it makes me happy. Oh, he peed on me. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Flip it. I'd like to do a 3D sip. Hang on. Wait for it. Wait for it. Why can't hey, you Hey, nice flip, Paul. Beautiful. Those are looking tasty. This one's got ghost pepper in it. Gotta this mark. one's got habanero. You gotta, you gotta mark it with a skull and crossbones. Yes. A brand. A brand. Oh, I like that idea. You can have it. I do. It's I do free. like it for free. Nice. How does look? That looks amazing. I think we should eat it. I think we should too. We're gonna plate it first. Ooh, nice oh. angle cut. If the if the knife starts melting, I know which one was the ghost wrapper. Oh, switch. Whoa. Guacamole! Looks like something a duck let out. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Give it, give it, no. Make it rain! Make it rain! Make it rain! Make it rain! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that looks beautiful, Paul. Oh, there we go. You ready to eat? Oh, yeah. We waited just long enough, hopefully, so that we don't burn our mouths off. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Cheers. I already know this is gonna be good. I can't remember which one is the ghost pepper. You know what, I can't remember either. I, just, I guess we'll find out really soon. You'll know on the first bite. I don't know why Paul only gave us one napkin. <laughs> it's gonna be, I think a two napkin meal, because this is really Four, big. Or three. Let's do it. Okay. Let's dig in. So we don't, hmm. Mm. <laughs> Mmm, it's nice. good. Oh gosh. I have just a ghost pepper. Damn, that's... Mmm. Super cheesy. Very, um, very savory, very Ooh. salty. Mmm. Try when it's locked. It's really good. Mmm, look at that. Look at that, people. Oh, Even it's... though Paul drained it, there's still a little puddle of goo coming out the bottom. Mm. Mm. Mine's still stove hot, but mm. the Cheetos have soaked up a mm. lot of the liquid, and they turned into... Totally softened up. I'm gonna try this other one. I'm pretty sure that's the ghost pepper one. Which the, one? The top one. The, when you cut it in half, did you, you cut them both in half and then place them or? Mm. I can't remember. Oh, wow. <laughs> I was wrong. 
I was so wrong. Oh, Paul. Oh, Paul. <laughs> That's the ghost pepper one. Oh, there's bubbles starting coming out of my nose. Oh my gosh. Which is a really bad sign. <sighs> happy birthday. Paul's birthday is coming up on Saturday, people. Mm. Wish Paul happy birthday on September uh, 9th. Got a little birthday burrito. Hey! Hey! Like the flavor of the beef, sour cream, cheese, salsa. That's awesome. And then you get this kick in the face of the heat oh. that Paul's created. It tastes amazing, but with the oh. guacamole on the side, and it's the bacon that's making it super savory. Look at that. Oh, the guac. I think we're gonna need more guac. Okay, now my head is just on fire. I think my first few bites were out of the side where there wasn't any heat. My first bite was the heat. Oh, because I layered it across sort of the center. Oh my. That is beautiful. I wouldn't want to, like if, we ever, if you were to make that again, I would just say just, just back a little bit off off the heat. Although this is fun to eat and it tastes amazing. The guacamole helps cool it a lot. I'm getting used to it a bit now. I'm gonna switch back. Huge flavor difference. Did you notice that? Yeah. Going back and forth. So Paul and I are gonna try our best to finish these off without dying. And we'll be right back <gasps> to, let, to let you know what we think of them. <gasps> Hang on. Are you done? I'm done. Are you tapping out? Oh, I'm on fire. Ladies and gentlemen, Paul is tapping out because he says he's full. I don't know. <laughs> Last bite. Oh. Ghost pepper. Well, thanks for dinner. You're welcome. <laughs> mm. Sweat running down my ear. That's how, that's oh. how hot these were. Once again, we already know that the, the the heat temperature of your sauces, and when you see Paul just drizzling it on, you can you know right away that something bad is going to happen. And it just happened to both of us. Yeah, Taco Bell's got to take a lesson off Paul and say, hey, this is how you should make it. And I diluted that ghost down a bit. Mm. It, it doesn't was, taste it like was, you downloaded it. It was, down, it was down, a straight down, ghost. Downed it. It was, uh, I cut it a little bit. With what? With uh, Louisiana hot sauce to bring the heat down slightly, but still. That's funny, using a hot sauce to bring down the heat of something. I know, that's is hot. that terrible? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm ladies, a bad man. ladies and gentlemen, please check this recipe out. Paul said he's going to give me the, the directions or instructions. Yeah, I wrote it down already. Recipe will be in the description below. Cool? Can I ding the ding? Sure. Are you ready? I am. Ladies and gentlemen, if this is the first time you've stopped by the channel, I believe the subscribe button on this episode will be down here somewhere. Click that and you won't miss the next cook and review that we're going to be trying to do every single Wednesday from now going forward. Uh, we'll try and stockpile a few of them so that when we have issues with work or family or whatever that we'll, we'll keep putting up cook and reviews. If you enjoyed this video and you're so happy that cook and review is back season two, hit the like button. Ding 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 ding, 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 ding. And we'll see you next time on another Ken and Paul Cook and Review. Ken and Paul out.